What, what, what's up fellas, it's your boy Mark B with Eclipse Lawn Care here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. It rained all last night. We're supposed to have partly sunny sky with no chance of rain. So that's gonna be awesome because we have to go do a leaf cleanup, guys. And you know how that is. When leaves are wet, they get heavy, they get hard to move, they get hard to blow. So we're gonna try to blow as much as we can, fellas. Woo. It's gonna be a tough day, but it's gonna be a great day. Sun's trying to sneak out, can y'all tell? Man, it feels nice and warm. It was it was a little chilly this morning. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't want to get out of bed because I felt all nice and toasty. But I had to get up get out of bed because we got some work to do, guys. Gotta bring home the bacon. We're gonna grab the bull by the horns. We're gonna ride it as long as we can, fellas. Check this out, I got the bootleg trailer. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. 2018 went by like this, dude. I went quick. You know what I'm talking about? And 2019 is just, it's right there guys. One step ahead. Woo, I'm looking forward to 2019. Got bootlegger right here guys. Let's go ahead and take a little, little waltz around the uh, bootleg trailer. It ain't nothing uh, special, but I can dump all my leaves in there guys. One of my subscribers said that always check wind speed before you go do a leaf cleanup. If the wind speed is 10 miles an hour or over, don't do it. If it's nine miles an hour and under, you have a better chance of controlling the leaves. Actually, let's look at it real quick. Five miles an hour, guys. So I think we're good. Stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna go talk to Dougie Doug, see how he's doing. Just kind of chit chat with him a little bit and he's probably out and about riding this bike like always guys. He is getting better so let's go check it out. Let's go hit up this leaf, clean up, then let's go talk to Doug. Let's go. All right fellas, well we're over here, uh, we're over here gonna check up on Dougie Doug and see how he's doing, make sure that he's uh, he's okay. He said he was out here in the front, waiting for us out here in the front. You guys see him? Let's go see, man, check out that nice bike. Love that bike. Doug, where are you, Doug? How you Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dougie? Uh, you see it, man, back in it, back uh, at it again, redoing the, my first burnout. Have you uh, been taking care of yourself or anything happened? Have you been getting hurt? Always. You know, the, I almost cut my hand in two there. That was uh, day before Christmas. It's better now I can move it that ain't crap compared to that car hit though other than that I just been falling here and there you know tripping over crap man what else oh yeah and uh, choking on stuff so <laughs> <laughs> what happened in your hand uh, I was using a grinder making my intakes for my uh, my Kawasaki racing bike over there and anyway I had it the, uh, the couple of uh, the intake and the vice I was shaving it down with my grinder and the blade it, it twisted on me and the blade hit the hit the thing and broke and it bounced off that and cut my hand instead and find out it was a concrete blade instead of a metal blade they put in a metal blade package which made it worse i still got it over here man i think i still got my blood all over it what yeah it's, it's all that red right there's my blood and that's a concrete that's not a steel blade it was in the steel pack so no more using them. <laughs> Dang. Now Doug's using a cut off or a torch. You know, no more hand grinding, nothing. And uh, so far, other than that, I've been doing all right, man. 2019, we're gonna make sure Doug doesn't get hurt. All right. Hey, that's that, is it? That's gonna be your New Year's resolution, right? No more pain. No more. <laughs> <laughs> no more splat. <laughs> so how deep did it go? That blade go in? All the way. You can see the black mark right there where it stopped. Look, it cut through that knuckle, cut it in half, cut this bone right here in half, and it stopped halfway through the uh, my finger joint. And it was spread open about that wide. And they shot it up, a bunch of full of this nummy stuff. That hurt worse than the cut did almost for like a couple seconds till the Novocaine hit. Yeah. Then I was laughing, watching them do that. Man, that's how y'all do that. You know? <laughs> did you cry, Doug? Yep. Oh, you did? I sure did. Grow man cry, man. There ain't nothing wrong with that. At first, I didn't know it, though, until I seen the blood dripping down after it ran across. Like, Zip. okay, cool. And I felt this thing, and I seen blood going, and I looked down, I was like, ah. Oh. I was 
limping in the house with my crippled leg and all this crap, man. My brother's like, oh, no, no. He almost cut his hand off. And took me to the hospital. Come to find out, all they did was put seven stitches in it. I can still work around. I got it going on. There you go. Back in action now. That's right, Ooh, man. As long as we man. got good people, they can't keep us down, right? There you go. I always taste good people know good people, man. But I'm glad everybody's doing good for New Year's. Oh, I yeah. hope everybody does good. Dougie's still there, man. He ain't gone yet. What do you think about my old ass shoes there? Nike runners. <laughs> <laughs> I've had those forever, dude. What are those, Nikes? Yeah. Nike, uh, Nike Pro Runners, I think. Or Jordans. <laughs> well, they are Jordans. You can tell I've been using them for work. These ain't about four or five years old. I never used to wear them unless I went to clubs or something. And, uh... All right, fellas, it's another day. Beautiful. Look, check this out. Check this out, guys. How beautiful. The sun is out. I shouldn't be wearing sleeves. I should be wearing some shorts, guys. Mercy, it's so beautiful out here, guys. It's amazing. I'm actually, where's my keys at? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at the uh, Green Touch trimmer rack, guys, that I have. All right, buddy. Let's go ahead and open this puppy up. Trimmer rack, fellas. Yeah, buddy. Now my goal is, one of my dreams, is to fabricate some racks for you guys. Where they're inexpensive, good quality, made here in the USA, fellas. All right, but for now we got green touch. All right, guys, let's check it out. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Check that out, fellas. <laughs> okay, we're here doing the uh, setting up the trimmer rack putting it together We've got dougie doug he's Hopefully. helping me out <laughs> so man it's i don't know doug it take it looks like we need a rocket scientist to help us out over here there's so many pieces so many parts guys i, I don't know sure we got this took care of we man. got it we, got it. we, we got always it. got it took care we got of. it so i'm just putting on the little bracket so i'm gonna let dougie doug hold the camera and let's uh let's go ahead and put these there you go, Bubba. check this out i believe that's it right there Bubba. is it okay that'll yes, work Yep, there you are. All right, guys. Well, I didn't realize there's gonna be this many parts to the green touch. Yeah, <laughs> but it might hold better though. It might hold better. It looks cool. Hell yeah, yeah. And plus, you can lock them. And we can lock them exactly. And they won't come unlocked. We should take the locks with it. That's a good thing too, man. Yeah. Okay. Got that. Now let's go ahead and we'll tighten up these up later. No, oh. top right. Yeah. All right, I got that ready for you. All right. There we go. So we got that. Now we just need to put that back plate on it. Bottom like that. Yeah. So we have three nuts. Damn, my ass is getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot today in Texas, huh? Yeah, yeah. Washers? Yeah. Let's go ahead and actually let's lay this down. All right. Okay guys, now that we got the two uh, two bars up, we're gonna uninstall the old ones that we got here. And we'll just go ahead and keep the uh, legs. Yeah, let's we'll keep those. We could probably use these. Probably. Cool, so there it is. Come on. Uh, those are just made to come down up here and you can actually lock them, make you these little rubber, uh, bungees. Uh -huh. And you can put stuff up there. But then you'd have holes through your roof, though. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want that for now. So. Keep for spares, though, man. There you go. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Hell no. Just in case you don't lock those other ones. So far, these been all right. They've been pretty good, man. Hell yeah. Right? This should go oh. right back where they came from, huh? Yeah. So there we go. We've got a clean space to work with, Doug. So far, so good. Hey, uh. Yeah. Cool, man. Bainers. So we got a clean space to work with. Now let's, uh, I guess what we need to do is figure out. Uh, how you want to sew? Yeah, then of course see how spread apart we need them too, right? Right. So 
So let's go ahead and do that. This is the first time I ever installed any let's just show you uh, okay. advanced racks like this. So I guess let's go ahead and let's just Probably about looks like about eight inches to a foot from one end and right up against the handle on the other side. Okay, let me see if these even fit through there. Yeah, these do. They fit. There we go, man. There's your, right there. there's your buddy. Okay. I guess it's, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna bring that other rack over here and see. Uh, oh man, it's gonna look nice. I guess. Uh, We have cleared it. Okay. Remember, we have cleared that too, yeah. Pretty excited, man. I'm really excited about these new trimmer racks. I know a lot of you guys uh, use the Green Touch, and a lot of them use the Defender uh, trimmer racks. But I'm not paid by Green Touch by any means. I want them at the GIE Expo. I'm just waiting on Doug to bring the other trimmer, so we could kind of measure the distance. So what we're gonna do? is mark the holes with a pin and then we're gonna take the uh, angle brace off and drill those in which uh, man that's a lot of work rock and roll we're gonna try it out for uh, I guess we'll, we'll try it out for a couple of months and we'll give you a, a real I guess review on it, huh? Right, the heads up or the thumbs up. There's the final product of the Green Touch trimmer racks, guys. It's on there solid. We have the motor mount on there. I got the Toro trimmer on here, but I am gonna get two more Echoes probably uh, sometime in February or the beginning of March, guys. But what do y'all think? 